Today we sold a cultivator and a two-way plow. And here we will show it uh, being loaded on a trailer. The people came from Petaluma. The first thing we had to do was to pull a, a smaller cultivator out of the way. And we used the forklift here. And uh, an interesting thing about the forklift is it was made in 1943. It was designed for the military to be able to load uh, cargo on military airplanes. It's a nice unit, works, still works well. Uh, it, it'll lift 3,500 pounds. It has a flathead six-cylinder engine in it. It was made by the Clark Company, and we still use it here uh, on the farm. It works really well. The real advantage of this kind of a forklift is that it has large wheels dual wheels in the front and all of the wheels are, are very wide and large <clears throat> makes it very very applicable to uh, a farming application where the ground is rough or soft you can uh, go around places where a, a forklift for, designed for a warehouse on the a pavement would uh, never make it out here <clears throat> the first problem of the day is that the uh, cultivator that they're going to put on the trailer is much too wide for the trailer. So the first task was to take off the tow bar, which took about an hour and a half to get that off of there. All the bolts were tight and, and uh, <clears throat> stuck. It took a long time. So finally we got them all loose and now we're starting to pick it up and we're going to put it on the trailer. One thing that makes it a little tough here is that the uh, power steering doesn't work on this forklift. And so you have to uh, plan everything ahead of time and make sure it's rolling. You can't turn the wheels when the thing is stationary. And it also means that it always overshoots when you think you've turned it enough, you've actually turned it too far. Tom here, the fellow driving, it's been using it for many, many years. And uh, he's pretty good at this and doesn't have any trouble getting it on a trailer. Next, it's time to put the tow bar on there. Uh, it's called, in farmer parlance, it's called a draw bar. We were sort of wondering how this gentleman is going to get this uh, cultivator off the trailer and assemble it again, since I, I don't believe he has a forklift. The second item leaving today is called a two-way plow. It's a funny shaped thing and what it's used for is so that you can go down a row and then uh, turn around and come back on the same row and throw the dirt in the same direction. If you have a standard plow that kicks just to one side, what will happen is as you go down and turn around, it'll throw the dirt in the opposite direction on the way back. And what that will do, will leave a ditch in the middle and it will not leave the field uniform. Uh, the, the way to counteract that is you have to drive all the way around the field so that you always go in the same direction. Uh, but this is quite convenient to be able to flip this uh, plow over and just uh, turn around and go back in the same row again. I was a little worried here that we were going to do some damage to the pickup, but uh, Tom was pretty good with this thing and he managed to get it in here uh, without hurting the pickup.
Here are a few photos. As they get ready to go, this is the way they set it up. I was a little bit concerned because that plow looks a little bit uh, unstable in the pickup. But they told us later that they went up Highway 280 right through San Francisco. They crossed the Golden Gate Bridge and uh, went all the way up to Petaluna with no problems. After this trip, uh, they will be coming back in a couple of weeks because they've uh, purchased a few more pieces of equipment and they will be back for that.